Hello and thank you for watching. Um, yeah, it's the weekend, it's Saturday today, so it's the end of our first trading week and so far we are up around 640 euro, I think, or 640 pounds actually. And it really doesn't matter if you're trading euro or Swiss francs, uh, US dollars, British pounds, uh, South African rand, Ghanaian CDs, Australian dollars. Uh, you might ramp it up a little bit if you're trading in the Nordic countries and you're using Norwegian krona or Swedish krona. However, it uh, can be done all with a small amount of money. And this is what I want to show you. So we are actually on our mission to trade 10,000. That's a new project to trade 10,000 up to 1 million and see how long it will take. After that week, now at the weekend, the stock markets are closed, so it's now time to recapture some things and I want to share some lessons with you. One of the first lessons that you might have realized already throughout the week is we focused. Why did we focus? Because if we, first of all, we said we don't want to sit in front of uh, our computer, actually I'm doing the work, so I don't want to sit in front of uh, my computer and I want to do it with 15 minutes a day. So it should suit everyone who's still in his work life, who's building his business, just so it can be done next to the job. So we, first of all, need to focus because we only trade 15 minutes a day. And there's another reason to focus. If you imagine there are around 40,000 uh, things that you can trade uh, on the stock markets like commodities, forex pairs, different shares, stocks, indices, and all these kind of things, you would get crazy if you would have to analyze all of these. So we pick out a few ones that we really like that comes with experience or with uh, some uh, things that uh, we are very keen on. Some people have different backgrounds uh, in their working life so they know a lot let's say about chemistry or they know a lot about cars and they can use that knowledge and kind of specifically focus on these areas and it's with everything the more you focus the better you get in that certain area and then you don't have to go on different adventures all out so one of our keys of success is to focus on a few things and to be really picky we want to have the best trades not just any trades the second one is uh, one thing that we did is basically we were kind of day trading. So we opened the trade and we closed it within the same day. That was so far pretty rewarding. Uh, however, it takes some, uh, some kind of uh, experience and some kind of time to do so. And it wouldn't have been by far as rewarding as if you would have just took one trade and um, hold it open in the right direction for a week. So rather than doing a few hundred pounds, I would have made a few thousand pounds. But I couldn't do that with you because if you're trading, if you want to show results, you want to speed things up. So I wanted to show you some action, some results and show you, okay, this is what I've done. These are the, uh, these are the results. So you see, oh, okay, that's, uh, that's something that really works. Otherwise, I could have uh, made a video on Monday like, hey, these are the free trades for the week, uh, see you on Friday, and that wouldn't have been entertaining, that wouldn't have been uh, showing you too much. So what we will do from now on in the future is, first of all, uh, as we already know that day trading is not as rewarding, we still want to keep that to um, get regular updates and to get a little bit of money aside. However, the second thing we want to do is we want to build something that we are calling a portfolio. And a portfolio is some uh, thing where we put up several traits, several things that we kind of uh, analyze or can foresee in the future. And we let them run over several days. Now, uh, that will take some time. However, the rewards for us will be far bigger than what we would have gotten in that day trading. But to make sure, like as I uh, keep telling like all my students, my mantra is if you have to choose, take both. So why would we leave some money uh, on the street if you could uh, do it on very short time frames? However, we want to make sure that we get the big rewarding juicy trades as well because we don't want to have that million when we retire in 20, 30, 40 years or however uh, you, uh, uh, however this planned. Uh, we want to get to that million very fast. So um, that's why we actually do both and um, yeah that's uh, one of the um, things we want to do in the future one very nice lesson was uh, for the last two videos actually on day uh, four and five we had the market doing something similar all the time so it kind of 
went down over the day next morning it kind of went up and then it dropped down and we had that for several days in a row and uh, the first lesson we had is never catch a falling knife so if someone really drops don't expect it the next day to go up why should it it still can fall and fall and fall however eventually it will turn and then you will see it going up and up and up so you want to follow these trends i'm very sure most of you heard about it follow the trend and um yeah, that's, uh, that's what we are going to do. And uh, the second thing that I wanted to tell you um, about it is if you see one of these repetitive things in the market, you see, okay, uh, every morning first it goes up, when it goes down, you just wait for the right signal and you see uh, in the shots that it's turning and then you just trade it in the appropriate way and you will make a lot of money. And you can do that over and over and over again. Uh, honestly, at one point it becomes pretty boring, but that's what making money should be. If you want to have fun, if you want to have a lot of adrenaline in your blood, you can go for skydiving, paragliding, bungee jumping, whatever you like, and you will have all the, all the money that you need for it because you did something boring as trading to make it. So I hope you liked that little overview and I'll be back tomorrow with another lesson for you and we will get you more and more into understanding how these markets work and how you can benefit from them too. Thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, I hope you like it. If so, feel free to share it or to put me some comments in it. If you have some specific questions, I'm happy to answer them. That's what I'm here for. That's what I want to provide you with. So uh, yeah, feel free. Just uh, give me the comments or some likes or whatever and uh, yeah, happy for you to be here or happy for me to be there for you, whatever. So thank you very much for watching and have a good evening. Bye.